Oh, I haven't seen her for a long time. Anyway, so the bottom line here is it's an issue and we should be concerned and trying to make sure that that title, Medical Chief Officer of New Brunswick, remains truly independent. Absolutely. She, she and, and the other medical officers of health that work for her essentially are the doctors for all of New Brunswick. And uh, like any doctor, they, they, do, they have an oath, right, uh, as a physician, and they're, they're responsible to the people in this province, and we can't see that responsibility in any way diminished by being a little more embedded in the bureaucracy. You're bringing that up, question period? <laughs> It's on a long list of things to bring up in question period, yeah. <laughs> busy these days. Are you busy? Well, I mean, look at this week. The health care reform package is going to be released. The plan for re, re, you know, reforming or changing local governance and getting rid of oh, that's a lot be. of LSDs is going to be released. The, the second quarter financial reports are going to be released. And, uh, and you take the time to listen. Else. And you take the time and listen to my bullshit, my bullshit questions. My yeah, God, you I'm ask, honored. You ask good questions. <laughs> listen. Uh, oh yeah, and then Friday. Oh more. What <laughs> Friday is the vaccination deadline for public service? Oh my God, why would an idiot? Why would they refuse to take the vaccine? I don't know. I don't understand that. I had a guy showed up at the Remembers Day ceremony right after hey Charles he was the guy that was at the courthouse there fighting and he masked I said what I won't swear what are you doing here well there's my right I said there's veterans here yeah. I said you get that ass out of here now yeah, yeah. anyway but I don't well veteran uh, I'm here thank you for uh, uh, it's because of you that I could do this let me give you corona and you see in the video in BC I was asking my mother, who was a public health nurse, uh, starting in the 1950s, like early 1950s, mid 1950s. She uh, she was telling me, oh yeah, she said even back then there were a few people who refused to take, uh, you know, the vaccine for polio or or mm -hmm. uh, major diseases of the of the past like that, which the vaccines have gotten rid of. Yeah. And I said, yeah, Mom, but the difference was <laughs> there was no uh, Facebook. <laughs> yeah, that's what I always say. I said the the twelve, the twelfth century, they had the Black Plague, yeah. and the Spanish flu a hundred years ago. Yeah. They didn't have uh, what you call what's that thing? Yeah, Social it's almost media. done. It is, Social media. No, no. What do you call that name? Uh, oh yeah, the internet. The internet and yeah. it, it would have been the same thing. Yeah. And people would have, people dropping dead around you. Oh no, is my right? Anyway, never mind that. Yeah, my my, uh, my my grandfather wasn't allowed to leave the farm during the Spanish flu. Really? The only person who left the farm was was his father, and uh, he and his brother and sister they had to stay on the farm during the worst of it. Never left, uh, and his, and their mother, my grandmother, great grandmother. Uh, so um, yeah, and everyone was everyone was okay. I'm told the new health plan is not going to be much. It's not going to cause chaos. Uh, no, but it better solve some problems. It better because, but let's face facts here. Acadian rights, okay, when they for Acadia, not the law, but double the vote, like Lou Murphy. Remember him? I too remember Lou Murphy. No, good old Lou. I wasn't in politics, but I remember. No, you weren't. That was a hundred years ago. I was a spectator then. Yeah, I was in St. John, good old Lou Murphyville, and all that. Yeah. And I was, I went to visit him on his deathbed. And he couldn't understand how come we have two hospitals in Milton. He couldn't understand that at all. He would just, and I told him, I said, listen, you would need your language to preserve the French language. You well, can't you put need, everything. That need, is very touchy. Look how many hospitals, there's, of course, how many hospitals are there in Halifax? I mean, you, there's, you have the number of hospitals, you need to serve the number of people. Yeah. Right? And so, so one is the Vitalité, one is Horizon, that's good. And uh, we can go to either. So, but it's a, it's the number of people that's the issue. Uh, that's why you've got two hospitals there in Moncton. 
Yeah. One or two hospitals in Fredericton because we haven't got enough people for two hospitals. No, no, or, but the population is growing fast. Or in Edmonton or whatever. Yeah. No. But, then, but it's a great system because it doesn't matter, you know, where you go, uh, you, you, sh you should be able to be, able to be served in uh, English or French. Whether I, if I got sick in Edmonton or uh, a francophone from uh, Karakamp gets sick in Fredericton, it doesn't always work. Um, sometimes it's, it's not 100% proper and that needs to be fixed, but, uh, but that's the way the system is set up and that's as it should be. One more thing. The, uh Daniel Alain, when he comes out with this, yeah. uh, is going to cause a uh, French revolution. No. Why? Because he's going to tell all the Acadians, village, okay, no more, going to be together, together, all homogate, what's that word? Homogate, together, together, together. You think those Acadians up north are going to say yes, and when he did? I don't think that, I don't think that's the way he's gone about it. I think he's, he's talked to a lot of people about what could be done to I asked him who you're talking to. I said, are you talking to the Acadians that's in the woods, or are you just talking to the right. leader? Go ahead. Well, anyway, we'll see. I don't know what the response is going to be, but but uh, there's got to be some kind of reform and change so that everyone's got democratic representation, and uh, not just the minister of local government as their mayor. That doesn't work. Well, if, but if, don't forget. Then the word is Higgs is anti fund. He wants to do this to give us less power. That's going to be the word. Yeah, That's well, what the we'll liberals see. are going to say. We'll see. We'll see what it comes out like. We haven't seen it yet, but Thursday, yeah. Okay. Okay. I've been. Oh my God! This is a long one. Sixteen minutes. Okay. All right. So we'll see you around this week. Yeah. You look after DOG. DOG. Look, look, yawning. He's lifted the hell out of here.